I'll give you the format of the manufacturing account. Please note it down along with me. Goods which have been produced during the year. 
manufacturing concern will make finished goods. We want to know what is the cost incurred, what is the expenditure out of our pocket to make the goods. We want to know what is the cost of production incurred to make the goods. To calculate cost of production, we, have to, we are going to prepare the manufacturing account. Once we know the cost of production of the finished goods produced during the year, we can do adjustments for opening stock of finished goods and closing stock of finished goods to arrive at cost of goods sold. If you know your cost of goods sold, you can match it to sales to calculate gross profit. Are you able to understand? So in the case of a manufacturing concern, they would like to know what is the cost of production of finished goods produced during the year. How much expenditure we have incurred on raw material, labor, expenses to make the finished goods. To know that cost of production, we are going to prepare the manufacturing account. Is it clear everyone? So now let us see the format of the manufacturing account. Alright, to raw material consumed. Raw material consumption will be debited to the manufacturing account. <coughs> to wages. To direct expenses. So what are we going to debit to the manufacturing account? The value of raw material consumed. The amount of Wages paid to the workers working in the factory, labor working in the factory, that expense incurred to make the goods. They will all be debited to the manufacturing account. Okay. We also call them as direct raw material, direct wages, direct expenses. Why are they called as direct raw material, direct wages and direct expenses? Raw material consumption can be measured per unit. Any expenditure which can be measured per unit of output. Such expenditure is called as dirt expenditure. Now, sir, raw material, you are saying it's a direct expenditure. In place of raw material, you can hear right to direct material. Why do we call it as direct? If you can find a one to one relationship between raw material consumption and output, then we call it as a dirt expenditure. See, in a company, the management would know how many kgs of raw material is required per unit of output. output or how many tons of raw material is required per unit of output. You are sitting on a bench. If you ask the management of the factory where these benches are made, they would know how much steel has been used per bench. They would know how much wood has been used per bench. So raw material consumption can be measured per unit of output. Such expenditure is called as dirt expenditure. It may be raw material, it may be wages, it may be other expenses also. Okay. Now what is dirt wages? The wages paid to workers we can express wages paid to workers per unit of output. If you ask the factory management, they would definitely have an estimate how much we have to pay as wages to the workers for producing one product. Management, because of their regular experience, they would be they would definitely identify per unit of output how much we are incurring on labor. So any expenditure which can be measured per unit of output or expressed per unit of output, all such expenses are called as dirt expenses. Okay. Now what is this direct expense? Can you give me an example? Royalty. Suppose there is a factory. They are making some car parts or they are making some motorcycle parts. To make those parts, they have brought a sophisticated machine on lease, on rent from a foreign country. The owner demands, he demands royalty. He says, you have to pay me rent. The rent you have to pay me is 10 rupees per part you have produced with my machine. <coughs> you are using my machine on rent. Per part manufactured using my machine, pay me 10 rupees rent. So if you produce 10,000 parts, you have to pay him 10,000 into 10. If you manufacture 1 lakh parts with that machine, 1 lakh into 10, you have to pay him that royalty. So royalty which is expressed per unit will become a direct expense. Or any other expenditure, if you can measure per unit of output, or you can find one to one relationship between the expenditure and the output, all such expenses will be called as direct expenses. Is it clear? If you can measure a particular raw material per unit of output, how much of raw material is required, that raw material becomes direct raw material. If you know some labor cost is incurred in the factory, if you can express that labor cost per unit of output, labor cost becomes direct expense. Any other expenditure, if you can measure per unit of output, or if you can find a direct relation between the expenditure and the output, such expenditure is called as direct expense. Is it clear, everyone? Yes. Now, apart from these expenses, in a factory, you can imagine raw material is used. There will be a lot of labor working in the factory. There can be some direct expense incurred. Apart from that, you have other expenditure also incurred. 
think about a big factory. You have a lot of machines. There will be a lot of depreciation expense. Factory building, depreciation. Factory machinery, depreciation. There will be some equipment, depreciation of that equipment. Not only that, you have other staff also working in the factory. Apart from labor, you have supervisor. You have some clerks working in the stores department. You have some people working in the, uh, the LCD generation department. The, we can say the generating, you will have sometimes generators, no? So in generator you will have some people working in the department. People working in the maintenance department. There is a maintenance department. What is a maintenance department in the factory? Even if, if any of the machine is not working properly, immediately they inform the maintenance department. Their job is to come and repair it. And their job is to keep always the machines in good condition. Whenever there is a repair, they are going to immediately attend to it. So maintenance department, there will be a lot of expenditure. You can have a canteen where all people can go and have food. Expenditure will be incurred, on the canteen, incurred in the canteen. Maybe some amount will be collected from the workers, but management will also spend some amount on the canteen. So a lot of other expenditure is also incurred. Power, electricity, municipal taxes, insurance. Huge amount of expenditure is also incurred in the factory. Other than direct material, direct wages and direct expenses. All those expenses are called as factory overhead. What are they called as? They are called as factory overheads or they are called as production overheads. If you are running your factory in a rented premises, you have to pay rent. If you have taken the land on lease, you have to pay lease rent. So all these expenditure, rent, depreciation, maintenance, insurance, lighting, electricity, watchman salary, clerk salary, supervisor's wages, all other expenditure which is incurred in the factory, they are all called as factory overheads. Now, they cannot be called as that expenses. Can you tell me, can you express the wages of a watchman working in the factory per unit of output? Can you tell the watchman? Watchman, in the factory, if one unit is produced, you will get 10 rupees. <coughs> will you accept wages in such a manner? He will say, sir, go tell me all those calculations. Tell me how much will you pay me per month? If you are going to pay me good wages, I am going to work. Or else? I will sit on the way and go. Okay. You have taken the premises on rent. Can you tell the owner? Owner, owner. One unit produced, I will give you 100 rupees as rent. Will you accept it? If he accepts it, then it is called as a direct expense. But normally owner will, owner will say, boss, I don't know what you do in my factory. In the premises, it is your headache. You have to pay me 1 lakh rupees, 2 lakh rupees or 10 lakh rupees as rent every month. Whether you use it 8 hours in a day, 16 hours in a day, 24 hours in a day, it is your headache. I want my money, that's it. So this expenditure is not connected to output. And it is very difficult to find the relationship between the expenditure and the output. Hence it is considered as an indirect expense. Insurance. Can you tell the insurance company? Insurance company, when the, when the insurance agent come, you tell him. Insurance agent, one unit manufacturer, I will give you 5 rupees as insurance <laughs> you. you say, I don't know all these things. You tell, tell me what is the value of the machines you have in your factory, how many crores it is. I will calculate my premium. You pay me the premium. If you are ready to pay me the premium, I am going to give you the policy or else. Ram Ram. They will not give you a policy. You cannot say per unit producer give you 5 rupees, per unit producer give you 10 rupees. They are not concerned with all those things. They are all indirect expenses. Okay. So there are certain expenses which are incurred in the factory which are not directly connected to the output. But without them, again, output will not happen. But they indirectly help in production. And they are all called as indirect expenses. They are written under the heading production overheads or factory overheads. So I list down the factory overheads now. Production overheads, rent of factory, inner column, maintenance, supervision expenses, <coughs> insurance. Municipal taxes, lighting, heating. In foreign countries, they also require heating because they are very cold countries. But in a country like India, <laughs> we don't require heating, we require cooling. Lighting, heating, depreciation. 
depreciation. Depreciation include both depreciation on building, depreciation on equipment, factory equipment. Material consumption in maintenance department. Material consumption in maintenance department. See, maintenance department also will consume a lot of material lubricating oil, nuts, bolts, cotton waste. They are going to consume some material that is shown as part of production overheads. It is not shown part of direct raw material consume. Okay. There can be many more production overheads. We we'll limit our list. Okay. Totally can write in the outer column. This is all the expenditure incurred during the year. During the year, raw material consumption. During the year, wages incurred. During the year, expense incurred. During the year, overheads incurred. Okay. Then we will also add two opening work in progress. We will also debit opening work in progress in the manufacturing account. Closing work in progress will also be credited by closing work in progress. <coughs> what is the work in progress? Boots which are in semi finished stage. They are called as work in progress. Opening work in progress means at the end of the last year, there were some goods which were in the semi finished stage. Already on those goods, last year, some raw material consumption has taken place, some labor work has been done, some overheads have been incurred in the last year. Those goods were completed during the year and they were pushed out of the factory as finished goods. So, expenditure which was incurred on opening work in progress in the previous year is included as part of cost of cost of production in the current period. Okay. If opening work in progress is debited, closing work in progress is credited. Okay. I'll tell you why. I'll give you an example to understand why opening work in progress should be debited, why closing work in progress should be credited. Okay. And then you also credit by realization from sale of scrap by product in a factory you will have a lot of scrap which will be generated yes. that scrap can be sold in the market and it can generate some income for the company by realization from sale of scrap by product income should be credited to the manufacturing account <coughs> consume some raw material but during the year during the production process some raw material becomes discolored disfigured it cuts the raw material will automatically sometimes become small small bits because of the machines or because of the lack of skill on the part of the workers the raw material is sometimes spoiled it is available on the factory floor so the scrap is collected from the factory floor and it is sold in the market getting some income for the company so that income is credited to the manufacturing account this income will go towards reduction of cost of production. Is it clear everyone? Now, what is the output of the manufacturing account? All the expenditure is debited, two items are credited. The balancing figure in the manufacturing account is called as cost of production of finished goods produced during the year. So what are we going to get? We we'll get by trading account. Balancing figure. What is this balancing figure? Cost of production of finished goods produced during the year.
So you get cost of production of finished goods produced in the year as balancing figure in the manufacturing accounts. Is it clear everyone? We are going to add up all these amounts, subtract these two numbers, you will get cost of production as the balancing figure. Okay. Now the question arises, why should I debit opening work in progress? I will give you a small example, listen to me very carefully. You are manufacturing very very costly cars for very rich customers. According to the design approved by the customer, according to the color specified by the customer, according to the shape which has been approved by the customer, we are going to make customized cars for very rich people and the cost of the car is also very high. Let us say that is our business. Now, this, listen to me very carefully. Last year, 10 cars, we have received 10 orders from 10 rich customers. We are making cars, that is our business. 10 rich customers have given orders to us last year in the month of December or let us suppose last year, last accounting period in the last month we got these orders work was started on these cars on these 10 cars last year we spent 1 crore rupees not per car, totally last year how much we have spent? last year last accounting year or last calendar year we have spent 1 crore on 10 cars on what did we spend that 1 crore? raw material, labor, expenses, we have spent 1 crore but last year these cars were not ready for sale they were not ready for delivery because entire work was not completed during the current year, during the next year, during the current year we have spent 9 crore rupees to complete the remaining work during the current year, at the end of the current year these cars have become finished goods now they are ready for sale now tell me what is your total cost of production? Is it 1 crore? Is it 9 crore? Is it 10 crore? Is it 9 minus 1 8 crores? On these 10 cars, last year you spent 1 crore. Current year to complete it you have spent 9 crores. So total cost of production of these cars will be how much? 10 crores. Expenditure incurred during the year? 9 crore. Expenditure incurred in the last year? 1 crore. 9 crore plus 1 crore will give you what? 10 crore. Cost of production of the finished goods produced during the year. In my example, I did not say current year, also there are some cars in semi finished stage at the end of the year. So closing work in progress was nil. If there was some scrap generated in the factory during the year, the income would have to be subtracted to calculate the cost of production. Are you able to understand? Now, if opening work in progress is debited, closing work in progress should be automatically. Credited. Yes or no? Yes. If you don't agree, understand, I will give an example for that also. Listen to me carefully. During the current year, we have spent 11 crore rupees. During the current year, forget the last example. Some other example will take. Suppose we have spent 11 crore rupees during the current year. Okay. At the end of the year, management informs you that out of 11 crores, 1 crore was spent on goods which are in semi-finished stage at the end of the year. During the year we spent 11 crores. 11 crores on what? Sir, what are we spending? We have purchased raw material, labor, expenses, factory overhead. Total expenditure during the year in the factory is 11 crores. At the end of the year, the supervisors and the management inform you that out of 11 crore, 1 crore was spent on closing stock of work in progress. At the end of the year, there is some semi-finished stock in the godown. On that you have spent how much? 1 crore. My question is, out of 11 crore, if 1 crore is spent on the closing stock of semi-finished goods, the remaining 10 crore was spent on what? It was, it was spent for what? It was spent for finished goods. Are you able to understand? Out of total expenditure, if you can remove the cost incurred on closing stock of semi-finished goods, the remaining expenditure is incurred only on one type of product then. It is on finished goods. Are you able to understand? So, the cost incurred on closing work in progress should be removed from the cost incurred during the current year to arrive at cost of production. Whereas, cost incurred on opening work in progress last year has to be included in cost of production. Are you able to understand? You can understand? If you want some more examples, I am ready to give. One more example you want? Okay. So to make you understand. I 
and take the example of a jeep. Whatever it is. Okay. Suppose you are manufacturing jeeps. Last year in your factory, one jeep, only one jeep, was in semi-finished stage. Only one jeep was in semi-finished stage. Last year, on the semi-finished jeep, you had spent one lakh rupees for raw material, for labor, for expense. You had spent one lakh rupees. Current year, you have spent nine lakh rupees to complete it. What is the cost of production? Total cost of production. You are adding, no? This 9 lakh is the expenditure incurred during the current year. And you are adding 1 lakh. What was in 1 lakh? Expenditure incurred in the last year. That is debited, added. If opening work in progress is debited, then automatically closing work in progress should be credited. Okay. If you want to arrive at cost of production, out of the cost incurred during the current year, eliminate, <coughs> remove the cost incurred on closing work in progress, the remaining expenditure is automatically incurred on production of finished goods. That is why we credit closing work in progress. Okay. What is this realization from sale of scrap by product? In the case of metal companies, in the companies which use metal as their raw material, you know, they lot of they get lot of scrap. That scrap can be sold in the market to generate some income. So this income should be subtracted from the cost of production incurred during the year. Okay. So we don't say less minus sign and put the number here. We show it as an income which automatically reduces the cost of production. So these are all your expenditure incurred. This is your elimination from cost. This is your income. Remaining expenditure is automatically incurred on what? Production of finished goods produced during the year. Is it clear? This is the format of the manufacturing account. Now let us, when you prepare manufacturing account, you should also learn how to prepare trading account. I will give you the trading account format also. Please note it down. Trading account. In the case of a manufacturing concern, how do they prepare trading account? That also we should learn. Once goods are produced, company will start trading now. Once finished goods are ready, what will they do? Sell. So they will start trading with the goods now. To opening stock of finished goods. So value of opening stock of finished goods is debited to the trading account. To manufacturing account. What is this manufacturing account? Cost of production is now debited. If trading account is credited here, manufacturing account should be debited here. What is this? Cost of production of finished goods. What finished goods? Goods which are produced during the year in the factory. In place of purchase, now what do you have? Cost of production of finished goods produced during the year. In the case of a trader, Purchase price of finished goods is shown there. In the case of a manufacturing concern, cost of production is shown there. By net sales or by sales. The sales of finished goods should be shown here. By closing stock of finished goods. You will get gross profit. Balancing figure. So, in the case of a manufacturing concern, purchases is replaced by cost manufacturing of account, cost of production of finished goods produced during the year. Because we are not buying, we are making. All the reasons we have shown here, no? Let me show in PL account. All period costs which are not related to production, administration expenses, selling expenses, distribution expenses, interest expenses, tax, bad debts, discounts, everything will be shown in the profit and loss account. We'll do a problem now. Write down. Extract of a trial balance. Okay. 
before we continue, nobody asked me sir how to calculate raw material consumed. Right? Don't note down the problem now. What is the meaning of raw material consumed? Okay. I'll give you an example to make you understand the concept. At the beginning of the year, there was 10,000 kgs of raw material in the factory. At the beginning of the year, how much kgs was available? 10,000 10, kgs. During the current year, we purchased 1 lakh kgs. We have purchased how much? 1 lakh If there is no consumption, if there is no usage of raw material in the factory, how much closing shop should be there? Opening shop, we have 10,000 kgs. We have purchased another 1 lakh kgs. If there is no consumption which has happened during the year, at the end of the year, how many kgs should be there in the factory? There should be 1 lakh 10,000 kgs. Opening stock plus purchases, no consumption, no. But you find that at the end of the year, there is only 20,000 kgs left in the go down. What happened to the remaining raw material? They have been consumed for production of finished goods during the year. Opening stock was 10,000, purchase 1 lakh. But at the end of the year, when you go into Kodam, you see only 20,000 kgs of raw material left. What happened to the remaining raw material? Either they should be stolen, they should be stolen, or they should have been consumed in the production process. Which assumption is good? Stolen is, sto stealing will happen only when your fate is not good. That doesn't happen normally. So the better assumption, the more reasonable assumption is, you have to assume that it has been consumed. So how did you con calculate the consumption figure? Opening stock, add purchases, minus closing stock. Right on. How to calculate raw material consumption? Particular rupees to column table. How to calculate raw material consumption? How to calculate raw material consumption? Right. Opening stock of raw material. Opening stock of raw material. Add raw material purchased during the year. Raw material purchased during the year. Add freight inward, carriage inward, add freight inward, carriage inward. What is freight inward? Raw, the expenditure incurred to transport raw material from the suppliers go down to your factory go down. If it comes in a ship freight, if it comes in a carriage, that is a truck carriage. Carry it to right. Less purchase returns. Sometimes raw material is defective. So what we may do? We may return it to our supplier. So purchase return should be subtracted. Less closing stock of raw material. Closing stock of raw material. You can also do one more item less raw material consumption for maintenance. You get raw material consumed. Raw material consumption for maintenance. Sometimes raw material is purchased for production, but sometimes it is used for factory maintenance. Sometimes raw material is purchased for production, it is used for construction of an asset. Raw material is purchased for production, employees take it away to their home. So raw material which is not used for production cannot be shown as part of consumption. Consumption means raw material which is consumed in production process, not in maintenance process, not in the process of manufacturing an asset, construction of a building for the factory, etc. So if raw material is purchased, if it is put for some other use, 
that cost of raw material cannot be included in cost of production. Is it clear everyone? So how do you calculate raw material consumption figure? Opening stock of raw material, add purchases, add carry inward, freight inward, subtract. Purchase return, subtract. Closing stock of raw material value, subtract. Raw material consumption for maintenance or for construction of an asset or withdrawn by the owner for personal use. All the cost price of those raw materials should be excluded from consumption figure. Okay. So now you get raw material consumed figure, which should be debited to the manufacturing account. Is it clear everyone? So raw material consumption should be debited to the, this. This is how we are going to calculate it. So how do you calculate this? From this working note. Now write down a problem. Extract of a drawn balance. Please be quick. Extract of a drawn balance. Extract of a trial balance. Particulars. Debit. Credit. Opening stock of raw material. One lakh rupees. Purchases. Ten lakh rupees. Carry inward. Freight inward, 1 lakh rupees. Purchase returns, 1 lakh rupees. Wages, 50,000. Royalty, based on output. Royalty is not based on period, it is based on output. That means it is measured per unit of output. Or it is calculated based on output, it is not based on period. Royalty based on output. Depreciation. Supervisor's salary. Factory maintenance, insurance, canteen expenses, opening work in progress. Sale of scrap, thirty thousand sale of scrap, credit side. So information given to is opening stock of raw material, purchases, carry inward, trade inward, purchase returns, wages, royalty, depreciation, supervisor salary, factory maintenance, insurance, canteen expenses. Opening work in progress, sale of scrap. This is the information given to you within the trial balance. Close the trial balance. Adjustments. Right on adjustments. Number one, closing stock of raw material, 2 lakh rupees. Two, closing stock of work in progress, 1 lakh rupees. Closing stock of raw material, 2 lakh rupees. Closing stock of working progress, 1 lakh rupees. 
if such a trial balance is given to you, you are asked to prepare the manufacturing account and calculate the cost of production. How will you calculate? That is what we are going to learn here. Is it clear? So you prepare a manufacturing account. Quickly prepare a manufacturing account. Manufacturing account for the year ended 31st March 14. I am assuming this date. Particulars rupees, rupees, particulars rupees and rupees. Debit and credit. What is the first number I debit to the manufacturing account? Raw material consumption. Two, raw material consumed. I have to calculate it. I will calculate it here itself. Instead of preparing a separate working note, writing opening stock of raw material, add purchases, add carrying word, free word, less closing stock of raw material, less purchase returns. I can show the calculation here within the inner column itself, no? Yes. So I calculate raw material consumption here in the inner column itself. <coughs> Opening stock of raw material. How much is it? Right. 1 lakh. Add purchases. 10 lakh. Add carriage inward. Freight inward. 1 lakh. Less purchase returns one lakh. One more item has to be subset right thing, no? Closing stock of raw material. Less closing stock of raw material. How much? Two lakh. Suppose the problem tells you in the additional information raw material consumed for maintenance 20,000. What should you do? You should subtract it while calculating raw material consumption and you have to include it as part of production overheads because raw material which is consumed in the maintenance department it is not considered as a direct cost but it is considered as an indirect cost. Such cost of such raw material consumed should be included in factory overheads but it cannot be shown as part of raw material consumed. Is it clear? So now you will get raw material consumption. How much do you get? 11, 12, minus 3. 9 lakh rupees is the raw material consumption. This is the value of raw material consumed, used up during the production process. Okay. On raw material, this is what we have spent in the factory during the year. Next, what is the item of debit? Wages. How much? 50,000. Why am I debiting wages? Expenditure, expenditure. Both have to be added. That is why I am debiting it. If I want cost of production, I have to include raw material consumption, wages, all other expenditure. To add them up, that is why I am debiting this account. Debit, debit is what, boss? Plus. Next, to royalty. Royalty. It is called as 1 lakh. It is given the problem 1 lakh. What is royalty here? It is based on output. If the royalty is paid per annum, per quarter, per half year, then in such case it is a internal expense. To be debited to the profit and loss account. Now, in costing language, sum of these three things is called as prime cost. In the language of a subject called as cost accounting, sum of raw material consumption, wages, and direct expenses is called as what? Prime cost. Two, production overheads. Please be quick. Two production overheads. What is the production overheads given to us in the problem? Depreciation. 1 lakh. Supervisor salary. 50, Supervisor salary. 50,000. Factory maintenance. Factory maintenance, 30,000. 
इंश्योरेंस ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड कैंटीन एक्सपेंसेस टेन थाउजेंड दैट्स इट सो ऑल दी इंश्योरेंस एक्सपेंसेस आर बी नाउ डेबिटेड टोटल हाउ मच इट वन लाख फिफ्टी वन एटी टू लाख फोर टू फोर्टी टू लाख फोर्टीन थाउजेंड प्रोडक्शन ओवर हेड्स What will you do with opening work in progress? Debited to manufacturing account. To opening work in progress. How much? Two lakh. To opening work in progress. Debited to manufacturing account. Two lakh. Sale of scrap income. Sale of scrap. See, out of this raw material consumption, we have thirty thirty thousand rupees we have received back. Because we have sold some raw material in the market as scrap, and we have generated some income. So the real cost of raw material consumed is not nine lakh. It is nine lakh minus thirty thousand. Eight lakh seventy thousand is the expenditure on raw material consumed in production. We are saying nine lakh is the production expenditure on raw material consumed. But actually, we got some income by sale of scrap. No. So the real expenditure is not nine lakh. It is eight lakh seventy thousand. So what we do by sale of scrap? It is credited to the manufacturing account. Thirty thousand. What we do with closing stock of raw material and closing stock of working progress? Closing stock of raw material is already considered. Closing stock of working progress. What do you do? You credit the manufacturing account by closing stock of working progress. One lakh. Closing stock of working progress. One lakh. Now find the cost of production as balancing figure by trading account. Cost of production of finished goods produced in the year. How much? Total is nine plus one, nine ten, ten fifty, twelve sixty four, fourteen sixty four. Total of the debit side is fourteen lakh sixty four thousand minus one lakh thirty thousand. It is thirteen lakh thirty four thousand. This is the expenditure incurred on finished goods which have been produced during the year. To produce finished goods, this is what we have expenditure incurred during the year. Trader, no problem because when he buys, he knows what he is spending to buy the good. But manufacturer. He has to find out how much he has spent for production of the finished goods. Is it clear, everyone? So this amount will be debited to the trading account. So we'll do some more problems on trading account and on manufacturing account in tomorrow's class. We'll stop for the day.